the monsters are gone. The sharks no longer swarm the skies, killing people at first glance. The indestructible tall ones have disappeared. Their whereabouts? Unknown. In their wake remains only a shred of the original human population. Survivors are scattered around the globe. Some finding new communities, some only more isolation. All of them haunted by the past. And slowly learning to move forward. The world is forever changed, but humanity and everything that comes with it perseveres. This is the phenomenon, survivors. Episode 1, Los Grios. Written and directed by Jared J. Smith. Crickets. Crickets. They're beautiful. I wonder how they survived. Maybe they went underground. Hid. Hibernated. Like us. Yeah. <sighs> that moon. I thought I'd never see it again. Or the sky. I thought we were never leaving that basement. That we'd be stuck there with the roaches forever. Well, I guess we can thank these crickets for letting us know it was safe to come out. That the shards and tall ones are gone. Amen to that. Thank you, crickets. Because if I spent one more day in that goddamn room, you know, I'm gonna burn that building to the ground someday, and it's gonna feel so good. <laughs> so... What do we do now? I'd be okay just... sitting under these stars, and breathing this fresh air... forever. Yeah, that sounds nice. But... We can't stay here. No. We're gonna run out of food. There's no space to farm. No space for life. What if there are other survivors? People we haven't discovered yet. Well, we know the hotel's empty. And if there are people in other parts of town, they aren't coming out. Maybe not everyone can hear the crickets. Yeah, maybe not. I'll go back to my hometown, Armonia. There is space, room to grow food, clean water, and my parents were there. I know that probably, no sé, no sé. I need to try. Maybe there is something I can do there to help, to bring a small piece of the world back to life. I understand. Will... Will you try to go back to America? Ah, uh, no. There's nothing for me there. How do you know? Look around. If those things swarmed the whole planet like the radio said, then this is the world now. My old home is thousands of miles away, with no way to get there and almost certainly no one waiting for me. You're my home now. So where you go, I go, if <laughs> you'll have me. After being stuck together for months, it would feel strange being without you. Yeah? Yeah. So, Armonia? Armonia. <laughs> How do we get there? I don't know, but that's tomorrow's problem. Tonight, crickets. Crickets.
Find anyone? No one yet. I'm not sure they know it's safe to come out. Or there's no one left. Maybe. I got the diesel pump working. But there's another issue. What's that? These wrecks all over the road. The abandoned cars? Well, uh, I wouldn't call them abandoned, but yeah, all the cars. You don't think we can just go around them? These right here, maybe, but there'll be hundreds of them. Thousands, probably, on the way to Armenia. It was the middle of the night when the shards came. Maybe there weren't many people out. Maybe, but still, it'd only take a few to totally block some of these smaller streets. And I'm sure the highway is a mess. So we have our pick of pretty much any diesel engine we can find, but it'll be tough. Or, I don't know, impossible to find something small enough to go around the wrecks. What about a motorcycle? A motorcycle would be great. Not sure where we'll find one that runs on diesel, though. We could just take the bicycles. We could. But we're probably better off with something a bit more secure. We have no idea what's out there. Okay. What if instead of going around, we clear a path and went through? Hmm. Push the cars out of the way. Like with a snowplow or something. Well, we don't have too many snowplows in Mexico. <laughs> no. A bulldozer? Maybe? A bulldozer would work. Or... What? What if instead of around or through, we just went over? <laughs> over? <laughs> like a monster truck or something? <laughs> yes, uh, a monster truck would be perfect. Mm. But actually, I think I know where we can find something even better. Come on, let's go for a quick bike ride. What is this place? The army battalion by the airport. I saw it out the window when I landed in town. What's here? Hang tight for one second. I'll be right back. cars. How do you even know how to drive that? This thing? Underneath the gun and all the armor, a tank is basically just a really powerful tractor. And I can drive a tractor. My dad made damn sure of that. Over the cars. Over the cars. <laughs> Easy as pie. Will it make it to Armonia? I don't see why not. It's designed for land missions, which is, I don't know, kind of what this is, right? Yeah. It's only a few hundred kilometers south. We fill up here, we might even make it on one tank. Well, what are we waiting for? Oh. All strapped in? All strapped in. Here, wear this. Thanks. <gasps> okay, uh, let's roll. Okay, ready for a test run? Ready. Okay, car number one coming up. Uh, hold on. Oh! 
found our solution. I think so. Next stop, Almonia. Okay, uh, actually, I want to make one quick stop before we leave town. Where? Well, you see behind you those huge cannon shells? Yes. Pick one of those up and slide it right in here. Oh. If we think there might be survivors in some of these buildings who don't know it's safe to come out, don't you think we should make some noise and give them a reason to open the curtains? You think cannon fire will communicate safety? I think if they couldn't hear the crickets, we need to give them something a little louder. <laughs> Let's wake everybody up on our way out of town, huh? Let's do it. Yes! Uh, okay, plus I, I just really want to fire this thing. <laughs> Where do we fire it, where we can be sure there are no people? I think you know where. The hotel? Oh yeah, the hotel. The place we were trapped, where we thought we were gonna die. Our own personal prison. I'm gonna take this big ass gun and shoot that building in the goddamn face. We know there's no one there. What do you say? <laughs> I say hell yes. All right, yes! <laughs> okay, <laughs> grab one of those shells back there. Oh my god, it's so heavy. Do you know how this works? Uh, well, I know how a gun works, and this is just a big gun, right? It looks more complicated than that. Okay, well, first step is to load it. <clears throat> Next, I think, uh, probably slide that over to close it. And I think when we're ready, I can fire it with this switch right here. We're almost there. I never want to come back here again. Well, after today, we never will. Ready? Ready. Uh, sit back and hold on. I would imagine there's gonna be a little kick. <sighs> okay, here we go. <sighs> Adios, hotel. Thank you for keeping us safe. Good riddance. Armonia? Now next stop, Armonia. Welcome home. Thanks. Just like you remember? Quieter. Come on, this way. Hola! Hay alguien aquí? If there's anyone here, there's not much sign of them. They are scared to come out. I can certainly understand that. Right up here. My parents' house. You ready? You go. What? Do go. I'll wait here. Carmen. I think we would know what we're gonna find in there. And I don't need to see that. I like to remember them as I last saw them. 
happy. I rather keep that. Okay. I understand. Their bedroom is upstairs to the right. If they are not there, you can get to the basement through the kitchen. Okay. I'll be right back. Hope. <laughs> Whatever's in there, I don't need the details. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Hola. Senor. Senora. Hola. I'm with your daughter, Carmen. Is anyone... Are you okay? Listen. What? Listen. Do you hear? What is that? It's... Yeah. Let's go. La escuchamos cantar. Acabamos de llegar al pueblo. Estamos buscando sobrevivientes. ¿Están armados? Sí. ¿Y usted? Sí. She's armed. Yeah, I got that. ¿Tienen hambre? She wants to know if we are hungry. Oh. I'm starving. Mm. Mm. That was the best food I've had and... Well, thank you, Maria. Muchas gracias. De nada. Maria, uh, if you don't mind me asking, how did you... Survive? Yeah. Well, at the beginning, on the first day, I woke up at my normal time. I have thick wooden shutters that I always close at night, and before I open them in the morning, I turn on the radio and heard, No miren afuera, no miren al cielo, no hagan ruido. So I didn't. We heard the same message. Once the power went out, I lost the radio, but I still stayed inside. I only picked out one time in all the months when the giants came by. They were so loud and it got so cold, I needed to see what it was. The ground, everything covered in ice here in Mexico. I'll never forget that. You were smart to follow the instructions from the radio. I didn't follow every instruction. It said to stay quiet, but I couldn't do that. I sang every day. I needed to. They cannot take that from me. It is what makes me human. In fact, the sharks came to keep me company when I sang. Keep you company? When I sang, I could hear them on the roof moving around, but never able to get in. Until one day I sang and I didn't hear them. And I knew I could finally go outside. <sighs> wow. Are there other survivors here in town? Yes, there are others, although they're still keeping quiet. 
I have tried to reach them when I see them moving in the shadows, but they are scared. They have been through too much, suffered so much. I fear they are lost. No, they are not lost. We can reach them. Maria, you can reach them. Me? Yes, sing for them. Sing? Yes, sing. We heard you. Your voice is beautiful. It reminded me of the time before. I have sung outside every day and it made no difference. No one came out. Then we make it louder. People are tired. Everything they loved has been taken from them. Their lives will never be the same. We can't fix that. But we can remind them that they are still alive. That even after all this, the world can still be beautiful again. Even if just a tiny bit. Like the crickets. Yeah. Let's show them there is still life out here. What do you say, Maria? Up for a little concert? I'll do anything you think will help. There's a store in town where we can find speakers and a microphone. There is still no electricity. Oh, I've got that part covered. We drove here in a 50-ton diesel generator. I think we can figure the power situation out. will still work with the engine off. Just like a car. Here, throw me that. I never thought that the first thing we'd be doing once we got here would be setting up for a concert. Or powering it with a tank. <laughs> ah, necessity and all that. Hand that mic stand up here. Is this stupid? What? This. Setting this up. Is this stupid? People need food and medical supplies. They also need to be reminded what it's like to feel alive again. And how are we gonna get them food if we can't even find them? Yeah, that's true. Carmen? Yeah? I know you don't wanna hear the details, but um. My parents. Yeah. Do you think they went peacefully? It looks like they did. Yeah. Good. Thank you for being here with me. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Sukasa Mikasa, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, that should do it. Come on up. Switch it on. Check. Okay. A todos los que puedan escuchar esto. Sobrevivimos. Salgan y reconstruyamos este mundo juntos. María. It's all yours. Gracias. <coughs> De la Sierra Morena, cielito lindo viene bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Que cantando se alegran, cielito lindo, los corazones. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores, 
Porque cantando se alegran, cielito lindo. Los corazones. Creative.